Welcome back to Mason Talks. So heading into this upcoming NFL season, the Cleveland Browns are going to have one of the most exciting rosters, one of the most highly anticipated rosters to see, especially on the offensive side of the ball. There are a lot of big time players now on this offense that have been added recently by John Dorsey. Of course, you have your franchise quarterback in Baker Mayfield. You have a crazy good running back duo of uh, Nick Chubb and then eventually Kareem Hunt. You now have one of the biggest stars in the game, Odell Beckham Jr. The Browns offense is going to be one of the most exciting in the league. And in this upcoming season, I think there's one player who is going to break out and take a step. I don't know if breakout's the right word because he was good before, but I think that there's one receiver on this Browns roster who's going to go from good to great, and I think that's Jarvis Landry. Now, Jarvis Landry has been consistently one of the better wide receivers in the NFL for his whole career since he was drafted in 2014 by the Dolphins. He's been pretty good. He's always, you know, right up there in the top amongst the reception leaders. He always catches a ton of passes. He had a couple of 1,000-yard seasons with the Dolphins. Just this past year, he had 976 yards, four touchdowns. Like, he's consistently been one of the better receivers in the NFL. But I still think there's potential with Landry. I still think there's another step he can take to become even better. I think he can go from being a really good receiver to a great receiver, one of the best receivers in the NFL. And I think John Dorsey set up the team, and I think that he set up the offense in a way that is going to really help Landry. And I think that the offense is now set up in a way that is perfect and it's a really good fit for Jarvis Landry to take over and become one of the best playmakers in the NFL. Now, I think that the Browns have a perfect trio in their offense, in the passing game at least. And that trio, of course, is Odell Beckham Jr., one of the best receivers in the game. You have Jarvis Landry, who's consistently been, you know, one of the better receivers in the game. And now you have Baker Mayfield, an up-and-coming quarterback. I think that these three, Baker, OBJ, and Jarvis, I think they're perfect for each other. Now, Odell Beckham Jr., as we've seen over his career, he can do basically anything in the receiving game. He can catch a slant. He can take it all the way, you know, to the end zone for a touchdown, ADR touchdown. He can be a deep threat. He can make a catch over anybody. He's one of the most unstoppable receivers in the NFL. And now that he is on this Browns defense, one defensive coordinator's game plan to stop the Browns, they are going to put a lot of their focus onto Odell Beckham Jr. OBJ is going to take a lot of the pressure off of the rest of the Browns offense. Like, he's going to be getting the, the most attention of any player on our offense. And, you know, we saw it in New York. He would get double teamed. He'd get double coverage. Like, they, people, you have to focus on Odell Beckham Jr. And I really think that that's going to open up the rest of the offense. And that also includes Jarvis Landry. And I think that that's really good. I think that's perfect for Landry because I think that, I think that Landry is a smart wide receiver. And I think he'll know how to take advantage of that because while the rest of the offense is focusing on OBJ, it's going to open up opportunities for Landry and Jarvis Landry is smart enough to, you know, find those openings. He's smart enough to find the open hole on the field. And then you also have Baker Mayfield, who, as we saw in his first season as quarterback, does not focus on one receiver. He keeps, you know, he keeps his options open. He keeps his eyes down the field. He, he jumps from one receiver to another, like Baker is not going to hone in on Odell Beckham Jr. If OBJ is, you know, drawing a, all the attention on the defense and if Jarvis Landry is wide open on the other side of the field, Baker is going to know. Baker is going to see him. Baker is going to find him. And that's why I think that these three are perfect for each other because you've got OBJ who takes all the attention away. You've got Jarvis Landry who knows where to be. And you've got Baker Mayfield who knows how to get the ball to the right receiver. And, you know, another thing is... Jarvis Landry can be used in many different ways. And, you know, we saw it with Freddie Kitchens, especially in the second half of the season when he was the main play caller. We saw Landry used in reverse plays. We saw him used in the passing game. Like, I, I, I think, honestly, we could see more, like, trick plays, more of those, you know, Jarvis Landry passes. I think we could see that. And, you know, now that... Now that Jarvis Landry is shifting back into his more natural second wide receiver slot, because, you know, that, that's been the thing that we, that's been the narrative about Jarvis Landry 
is that he's not a number one guy. He's more of a number two guy. And now that he's shifting back into that more natural spot for him, I think that he's going to be able to use in many different ways. Like he's not our main receiver. That's now Odell Beckham Jr. So, you know, you can use Landry in the slot. You can use him, you know, you can put him in the backfield. We saw him come out of the backfield sometime. Like I think that I think that with the addition of Odell Beckham Jr., I think that we're going the Browns are going to be able to use Jarvis Landry in more creative ways and I think it's going to result in really a breakout year for Jarvis Landry. I think we're going to be seeing, you know, a lot of plays run for Landry and I think we're going to see Landry really take a step from being, you know, a really good receiver to one of the best in the NFL. And you know, with Jarvis being good, you know, it's going to open up, you know, opportunities for other players. I just think that John Dorsey really put together an offense that not only has a ton of talent, but has a ton of talent that all fits together well. And, you know, I- I'm excited. <laughs> I'm really excited to see how it all pans out and how this Browns offense works. And uh, it's going to be good to see guys like OBJ and Baker Mayfield and Jarvis push each other to be better because they're all very competitive. They're all friends and they all, you know, they all love to work. They all love to win. They all love to get better. better. And, you know, it's going to be exciting to see. But uh, yeah, so I definitely think that 2019 could be a true breakout year for Landry. I think he can become one of the best receivers in the NFL. And I really think that OBJ and Landry is going to be like the best receiving duo in the NFL. But uh, let me know in the comments, what are your expectations for Jarvis Landry in 2019? Because I think he's going to be really good. Thanks for listening to the Mason Talk Sports Show. And I will see you in my next episode. Goodbye.